on Nifty Bank Nifty analysis. I just realized that this camera is weird because when I tilt my head to the right, this one shows left. <laughs> okay, very disorienting. By the way, that's not what uh, today's uh, program is about. Today's program is about what the market has been doing. Nifty Bank Nifty and uh, the rest of the world analysis. So let's get started. So number one, Nifty. Nifty has formed a bearish uh, piercing pattern on daily uh, charts. And Bank Nifty has formed. So we had talked about it yesterday. If you look at yesterday's analysis, we said that there's a possibility of testing 25,300 upside. That was the kind of you know max upside we saw somewhere around here but it's losing steam even at 25 200 so it's a bearish piercing candle and this doesn't look nice because obviously it's covering half the yesterday's bullish candle and if you look at bang nifty bang nifty is forming kind of a hanging man so if tomorrow's close is below today's close in uh these indices we can see further bearishness right nifty forming bearish piercing on rejection at around uh, 25 200 levels bank nifty forming bearish uh, sorry hanging man possible hanging man because hanging man of course needs a confirmation now let's look at open interest open interest is very very obvious because today it opened up and it was selling all around so it means a lot of people must have uh, sold everything left right center vivek is saying nifty is 50 dma yes that is a possibility so see people got out of their puts a lot of people added their calls 25 100 is a significant resistance now 25 uh, so if you look at it, yesterday's option chain looked like this with a prominent support around 25,000, right? Now there is no prominent support. In fact, 25,000 has some support, but 25,100 plus is mega resistance, right? So lot of put unwinding, some put unwinding, lot of call addition <clears throat> massive resistance above 25100 no support below 25000 now let's look at pcr <clears throat> 0 0.56 very weak 0 0.58 very weak 0 0.56 around it i mean 0 0.6 no, 0 0.6 is not doing justice to 0 0.56 0 0.58 around atm and 0 0.56 overall pretty weak <coughs> and let's now go to <coughs> option data so pro sold more today in calls and bought more today in puts. So roughly 1 lakh calls sold, roughly 1 lakh puts added. Short 2.6L, almost neutral on, uh, <coughs> sorry, um, slightly holding puts, but a lot of call sell. So pro short 2.6L calls and slightly long puts. Today they sold 1. 0.1 L calls and bought 90k puts, right? 90k puts or like 89k, but the <coughs> Now, in client, this is interesting. <coughs> client is short calls <coughs> because they bought calls and short puts. So, client short. 2.2 L calls and short 7.7 L puts. Futures data. This is where interesting stuff starts happening. <coughs> Client 
FIA is adding their shorts, client is adding longs. FIA adding shorts. And this is important because this thing has worked for the last two, three months pretty beautifully. So I'll give a lot, weight, lot of weightage to the futures data. Client <coughs> adding longs. And let's see what they did today. Atul bhai mere IPO, IPO matlo, matlab, eh, sorry, I'm not giving advice, but uh, Jayesh is asking, did my position break even? No, Jayesh, sadly, my position did not break even. It's far from break even. Uh, but I'm adding next year's uh, and adding some uh, short calls. So short calls are easier to break even than long puts, of course. So I'm hopefully something will happen. If I sold 400 crores, futures today, if I sold 1700 crores in cash. Verdict, um, Nifty struggling to go up. If tomorrow is weak, expect more selling. And I have no, absolutely no change in uh, view. I'm happy to sit on long term uh, <coughs> calls. So I'll tell you something which is really bothering me, right? As in bothering me not because I'm a short, bothering me about the markets as a whole. See, the truth is SP has been consistently giving us gains for the last few sessions, right? But Nifty has not really shown strength when SP has been showing strength. My worry is. What if SNP starts showing weakness? Then we might actually see Nifty uh, showing quite a bit, quite a bit of weakness. So I'm a little worried about uh, SNP uh, simply because if it starts going down, then Nifty will tremendously um, follow and it will all Thoda go toasted. Another thing which is worrying me, of course, is TLT is picking up. So yesterday you were saying, right, this trend line and there's a possibility TLT can bounce from there. TLT is up 1%. See, a bond going up 1% is not like a stock going up 1%. A stock going up 1% is nothing. But a bond, 20-year bond index going up has a lot of meaning. So please observe this because it potentially says there are, there's something going on. India government bond again today bearish engulfing candle on yields, which probably means we are going to see more downside. Now, I don't know for what rhyme or reason India bonds will strengthen, but if you look at the chart, it looks like it might strengthen. Mm. Another thing which we have been observing, but we also have been kind of getting right, is crude oil took huge rejection from this trend line and it is plummeting, right? Today it's down around 3%, which is, see, crude falling only has one meaning it is the slowdown of demand and that's not good for like crude falling is one of the leading indicators of uh, manufacturing going down consumption going down possibly economy slowing down etc so uh, crypto is up like we talked about yesterday but then it's okay it's an indicator of liquidity and maybe they are pump, starting to pump in liquidity but largely um, this is a time when i am not at all happy trying to play the last few uh, I mean no, I'm not trying happy playing long on nifty at all uh, I'll definitely not try to build a stock portfolio invest in IPO you know enter any new stocks now because see yeah Thoda it is I mean if let's get real right Thoda all of us have to understand that uh, there's some Questionable activity. So I, I'll just say, see, I mean, look at Bajaj housing finance, right? Um, this was the recent IPO, right? Yeah, come on, dude. Like, seriously, like it listed 
at 150. It went to almost 190 and it now is at 130. Nobody else thinking this is a pump and dump or is it just me thinking this is a pump and dump? Let's look at another uh, recent uh, IPO, which is Ola Electric, right? The stock listed at around 73, right? Within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sessions, it was um, up to 150 plus, which is basically doubled. So there's a stock which is newly listing doubles in seven sessions and then halves in the next you know, few sessions, right? Like I, I don't think this is more than 30 sessions, right? This is what, September, August, and today we are in September, October, two months. So stock list doubles in seven days, halves in two months. Nobody is bothered or am I like the only person thinking there's something very wrong happening in... And similarly, look at Paytm IPO, right? Uh, see, this... Jesus Christ, I mean, I, I don't know what is even happening here, but... Look, this was Paytm, right? This was Paytm... My God. So this was Paytm listed at 2000 in one, two, three, four, five months. It went all the way to 500, which is one fourth the price. Uske baad thoda pump hua, then thoda dump hua. Then thoda th pump hua, thoda dump hua. Like what is this dude? Like I'm amazed that nobody is. See, after seeing all this, if you still want to. Um. Yeah, Alil Kant, uh, I fully, fully, fully resonate with your. Uh, so, yeah, I, I am. Thoda, you know, there, there's something wrong, right? There's, there's something very, very wrong. I would urge you strongly to go back to 2000. So, the thing is this, right? A lot of my commentary, my memories, my interpretation of the world is kind of biased by 2008 because the first thing I saw in my life uh, just out of college uh, when I joined work was 2008, right? The first thing, my memories are vivid with GP report is saying Nika. Let's look at Nika. Right? Just, just because let's see how Nika. Yeah, come on. Seriously, like after seeing this, we are still talking IPOs. Like at some point, we have to be thoda, you know. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah, please don't invest in IPOs. I don't like peak bull market IPOs, I think, are just, you know. And see, okay, so let me put it this way, right? Um, there is a big IPO coming. Somebody I know asked me to take some mal from him in that IPO, right? A well-meaning guy, good friend. We've been friends for a long time. And uh, um, he told me that 20-30% to milega. I am really, really, really scared of a world in which person A can tell person B that 20-30% milega on something, right? Because, dude, the only thing I can tell you 20-30% milega is if you put a money in an FD for four and a half years, pokka 30 percent milega aapko if it's under five lakh, right? Because uh, because you you get the meta. <coughs> the, nothing else explains. Or let's let's strong tumor says scale up is no more like it how it used to be earlier. Please tell me what is more on this. I'm very happy to listen to comments and. Uh, uh, try to bring it back to what it used to be if it was better that is right uh, let's let's look at one more uh, ipo uh, what was the other ipo zomato i think did well uh, right um, lic right huh. <clears throat> lic is not bad but this is when it was ipo it tanked after that but then the market Pulled it up now, it's again coming down. But generally, right, um, if you uh, came to market in 2008, all around you was just rampant scam, right? This included, I think, one of the biggest IPOs at that point was Reliance Power and people, uh, or Reliance Capital or something. It doesn't matter if it's Reliance Capital or Reliance Power, anyway, both of them uh, were like, <laughs> I mean, this is this is Reliance Capital. Um, I think this was not 2000 IPO. I think it was Reliance Power, which was the 2008 IPO. Um, Reliance Power. And 
yeah this is 2008 right this was listed in somewhere around 2008 feb march people were borrowing money to invest money in that and you can see what ha has happened right the, it's 90% value erosion 99% the value erosion probably by 2020 but now it has thoda recovered uh, made 5x but still adjusted for time value of money this is ridiculous so yeah it doesn't make sense right if it's peak bull market ipos i would stay away from it i'll never touch it so i'm not very keen on doing this um, so yeah um suzlon was another one right suzlon was uh, 2009 bay it was a massive dump of suzlon which we saw but anyway see the point is i really think i i so what i think doesn't really matter but uh, if you look at long term trends this graph especially is very very alarming Uh, the same graph is uh, kind of there on spx but SP spx seems to be uh, ducking the you know uh, it seemed to have broken out of this thing but if it's a false breakout there's trouble in spx too but if the music is going to stop the correction is going to be tremendous i wouldn't want anybody to get into that see the thing is this is not one of those permanent perma bear stories uh we if you have been watching klr some long enough i think 16700 pay there were very few people who were long we were one of the very few people who were long at 16700 we rode it all the way to 22000 without questioning it ever 23200 pay we said ki boss bhaiya nikal lo and we have been wrong for like some 2000 points it's okay we can't capture the entire rally right even i was mentally prepared for not capturing the last leg of the rally but if this corrects right this will not be a simple correction it can be tremendous for all you know this can i don't want to say it because then people will say i am the father of some nifty 10000 gang or whatever right so so I, it just makes sense to not you know really uh, get into this so see the thing is this right akad bakar is asking hyundai take or avoid see it's not about hyundai i think the market as a whole is in a frenzy and probably we should not um <clears throat> uh you know get into this stuff so that is my take anyway so this is our analysis for today uh, view hasn't changed uh, long term bearish medium term bearish short term kya pata not interested in trading but i think we are looking for some real pain in the next few months to come right so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual